This is Capital View with your host, Jesse Tenor. This week on Capitol View, we welcomed Lieutenant Governor Tim Griffin. After talking about his priorities for the 2019 General Assembly and his work to reform state government, I asked the former 2nd District Congressman if he had any advice for the current Arkansas delegation now that they're in the minority party. Here's his answer in a Capitol View Web Extra. Well, look, it's, it's, I was never in the minority mm -hmm. uh, under a Speaker Pelosi. Yeah. I was never in the minority in Congress, and that, that was a blessing. Look, it's, it's a challenge, particularly in the House because in the House, majority rules everything. That's not so in the Senate. You've got to get 60 votes to really to move things. So there, it's a different sort of chamber in the Senate. So um, I think it'll, in the House, the people, uh, people just have to do the best, whether it be uh, Congressman Womack, uh, Crawford, Congressman Hill, or Westerman, they will have to look for opportunities to uh, pursue the, the conservative uh, uh, policies that they believe in, which will be challenging. Uh, they may, but there, there will be opportunities to find some common ground. They may be rare with the, with the Democrats and the, the, the more left-leaning Democrats that are up there today. It's going to be rare to find those, but there may be some, some opportunities. When those opportunities don't present themselves, they'll do, uh, I'm sure they'll just They'll speak out loudly in objection, and that's what the minority party should do. Mm -hmm. There's a great, important role for the minority party, and, uh, and I think they'll make their, their voice known when they disagree. And I think with Speaker Pelosi, there's going to be a lot of opportunities to disagree. And be sure to catch Capitol View on the air Sunday mornings at 830 on KARK right before Meet the Press.